Hello, welcome to this presentation. We discuss quota and other limits on resources allocated to or enabled for users of particular roles. With Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control, users are allocated infrastructure resources within assigned quotas. The quotas are associated with roles and therefore all the users with those roles. The quota values represent the maximum values of the specific resources available. So, for example, a quota value of 40 CPUs means the aggregate of all CPUs configured in all servers owned by a user of the role is limited to 40. Quota values are set for the maximum number of servers that users can deploy, the number of CPUs that can be configured, the maximum amount of memory that can be used to support all servers, and the amount of storage that can be allocated for all servers. In addition to those resource quotas, there are other aspects of infrastructure that can be configured by role. You specify the zones in which users for the role can make requests for servers. Network allocation is also included. Users for any role can be assigned to work with specific networks, and for those networks, they may be assigned particular network profiles. If multiple network profiles are created to isolate subranges of IP addresses on a particular network, users, by role, can be isolated through this setting. In this way, multiple users can share a network with a given set or range of IP addresses. Finally, if the global request settings allow, users of a particular role can override the request settings for future reservation, duration, and the option of enabling and configuring for EM agent push to VMs or servers. Now, let's take a look at the interface for assigning quota. I'm logged into the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control as a self-service or customer administrator. Navigate through the Setup menu, through Cloud and click on Infrastructure. The Infrastructure Cloud Self-Service Setup page appears. Click the Roles tab on the upper left side of the screen. After a new role is created, you can assign quota to the role. A new role was created for this demonstration, so click Assign Quota to Role. A dialog box appears with all the inputs to configure. Click the magnifying glass next to the Select Role input. The Select Role dialog box appears with a list of roles available for quota assignment. Only unassigned roles appear, so you cannot create multiple assignments for a role. Click on the list entry for Test Self-Service User, then click Select. The selection appears in the Select Role input. Click on the magnifying glass next to the Select Zones input. The Select Zones dialog box appears. Click on the Sales Marketing List entry, then click Add. If you need to, you can select multiple zones for a user by holding the Control key and clicking on multiple list entries. So, click Select. If you want to keep the original settings after making changes, then click the Revert button. Click Apply to keep changes to the request settings. An informational message appears at the top of the Request Settings page. Dismiss this message by clicking the small x at the upper right corner of the screen. Any changes will be in effect immediately for all Oracle Enterprise Manager self Click on Yes next to the option to allow archiving to the software library. When this is enabled, users can upload their own templates and assemblies to the software library, and the extra option of allowing users to save expired VMs or servers as templates appears. Click Yes to enable this feature. Click the magnifying glass next to the Select Networks input. The Networks list appears. The networks I need are at the bottom of the list, so scroll to the bottom. Hold the Control key and click on the list items for the Private Virtual Interconnect Networks 51 PBI and 50 PBI. Then click Select. The two networks appear in the input field. Now, click the magnifying glass next to the Select Network Profiles input. While holding the control key, click on the list entries for profiles 50 PBI and 51 PBI, then click Select. The names of the network profiles appear in the input field. If you want to allow users of the test self-service user role to be able to override the global request settings, then check this checkbox. We do not check the box and maintain the global settings for these users. With all quota settings in place for the test self-service user role, 
click Save. The quota assignment for the test self-service user role appears on the list. You can return to this page, select a role, and click Edit to make changes if necessary. This ends the presentation. Thanks for watching.